Welcome back to the coverage of YCS Milan 2018. You've all been waiting for this. This is the moment that it all comes down to. Yesterday we set a new attendance record for an event in Italy with 1,771 players showing up. They had to go through eight rounds of grueling Swiss and after those eight rounds only roughly 450 players remained. They had to make it to three more rounds of Swiss before we performed another cut and just 32 players remained. We now have the final two and they are going to duke it out in the finals of course of YCS Milan. We have quite the crowd in front of our feature match area so we're going to do what I like to call the crowd check. We're going to play a very fun game. A fun game goes like this. If you guys see yourself on these screens over here I need to hear you make some noise. Let's try this. Okay, okay, you have to keep in mind that I have... You have to keep in mind I got a really, really good microphone. So if he's saying something, nobody on Twitch can hear it, nobody on YouTube can hear it, nobody on Facebook can hear it. So if you want to be heard, you need to be really loud. So let's try this again. All right, guys, it seems like you are ready for the finals. Is that correct? Are you ready for the finals? Yeah. Right, I've got to let you off this one time. We came up with a new idea. The sound is going to be a little bit louder than it was the whole day. So that means our commentators are calling the match and you have a better chance of hearing what they are saying. We don't want the players to hear what you are saying. So that means while the final is underway, all of you need to be very loud. Okay. <sighs> that means that during the final, we're going to turn the sound off. So after I'm done here, you're not going to hear anything. Or maybe I'm going to give you a second chance. Let's try this again. When the final is underway, we're going to pump up the volume. You need to be very loud. All right, all right. The crowd is ready for the finals. I think I'm ready for the finals. Let's bring in the players. In the blue corner, you know him from YCS Utrecht, the largest European tournament of all time. We got Din Kabui from Germany. Your opponent knows what you're playing. In fact, everybody knows what you're playing. Who wants to see Prank Kids win this tournament? We have seen this before in Utrecht. It seems like a lot of people are rooting for you. So how are you feeling going into the finals? I'm feeling really good. Okay. You were calm and collected in Utrecht. I remember this. I remember this. So what's going to be different this time around? How are you going to win this one? I don't know. <laughs> you got the best deck in the field and you're going to crush him. Thank you very much. Please have a seat. His opponent is not playing the most creative deck, but he's got the other advantage. He's from Italy. Let's give it up from Federico Mecozzi. It's pretty even. How are you feeling going into the finals? I'm feeling pretty hyped and I hope it's going to be one of the best finals in the game. Seem a little bit nervous. He was in Utrecht, he was in the finals. Do you think that the element of experience is going to come in or are you still going to be able to defeat him? I'll try my best to fight him back. But I'm pretty sure he's confident with the deck because he's one of the best players here with Prankets. So. All right. What do you think about the deck? Are you scared of uh, going up against Prankets? So my only loss in Swiss was to Prankets. And I'm going to fight him back with all I have. All right. Good luck to you as well. Please have a seat. All right. Our players are ready for the finals. Some players say it's all about the die roll. I don't agree. This is all about skill. We got two of the best players in the venue. However, the die roll is part of the game, so please decide who's going to go first. It's the water dies again. That is a five for Dinka Bui. And Federico rolls a four. Let's guess it together. Who's going to go first? Uh, me. <laughs> Dinka Bui is going to go first. All right, guys. We did a little of playing off each other. I now want you to give it up for both finalists of YCS Milan. Please give them a big round of applause.
The competitors are ready. You guys are ready. Our commentators are ready. Let's take it off. We got Marcello Barberi and Tom Payne on commentary. Let's go for the finals of YSIS Milan. Welcome to the finals. We are all hyped. You can see everyone around us is screaming and shouting. We're ready for it. Are you ready, Tom? God, no. This is prank you're kids. Not. This is prank kids in the <laughs> final. Know. No one would well, have guessed. I wasn't ready. I mean, are you going to yeah. claim you're ready? I don't I, believe I, no, you. I, I wasn't. I wasn't. I definitely <laughs> wish I wasn't for the Federico. is ready, I mean. Especially because, as he said, the only loss at the event was against prank kids, even though it was against the other guy, Herman. Uh, you got to feel nervous when all you know, lost <laughs> the other against. one prank kids player. Yeah, the, the, event. <laughs> yeah. the best compliment I've ever heard. You're the best prank kids <laughs> player of the two that there are at the event, basically. But it was really cool. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a great match. Uh, they both were in the finals before and they both lost the final this year because Federico lost at the Italian National Championship in the final. And as we repeated many times, Dinka <laughs> lost at the finals of Utrecht. So they're both finalists and one of them is going to be the winner after this week and not just the finalists this year. Exactly. And nothing more to say. I'm really uh, pumped about this, so let's just walk into the match. So we saw Dinka win the dice roll. Do we think that's impo he did. important? He did. I don't think it's necessarily too relevant. It's definitely good to be able to choose, but... I mean, compared I'm, uh, to other matchups, maybe it's not yeah. as important. When we saw like you know the Dark Warrior exactly. mirror match, and it was like I don't roll. know what to say anymore because like last round we saw uh, Andres <laughs> opening with a really good field with like triple fusion, and he still didn't matter because he's lost in like two turns. Like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I don't care. I set up my board. What are you gonna do? Exactly. So I I can't <laughs> say anything anymore. I don't know. But like honestly, from what we've seen, the openings are uh, decent. They can go usually for like either a totally awesome if they open really well, and along with it, a bunch of uh, spam of like the regeki or feather duster fusion. Obviously, you wanna have regeki and stuff like dragon. Massively explosive on the first turn, but then after that, when the fusions start bringing back the links, it gets mad. That seems ridiculous. Yes. Yeah, and so shake and let's go. Let's see what they get. This is the this is the very exciting bit, right? Okay, he, he, oh, Federico draws Brilliant and the uh, Jam Knight, but he does play two, so that's not that big of a deal. Combo. Well, on the other hand, he has five spells, so... Let's see what they are. I Frank saw... place searches a monster. And he has double East Infusion as the last spells. Is that enough to do anything? Place is the one that searches a monster, is yeah. the fuel spell. so he can make a Link Summon. And then he has instant fusion. So I'm pretty sure that He's any brand kids plus the instant grave fusion the is ash, the opening. Which I, I guess you use. You of course use it, because otherwise you bricked. Because you don't know what you're doing, right? No, I mean the I mean like Ah, you mean Mega Mega? I think ash. so. You don't even know. But like what you that. don't know what they're playing, so if you don't know the deck that well, it makes sense just to just to go ahead and ash. But yeah, you can hear the crowd going crazy because if that ash actually resolved, the Dinka was was done for. I'm I'm gonna guess that prank its place, you can only use one off per turn, but you never know. I'm guessing that you can only use activate one. Yes. Yeah. Well, there is light stage and which you can activate more than one of. I know. Madness. But from what I heard uh, and from what we have seen previously, all you need to combo off is an instant fusion and a pranking monster. So let's see if this is true. <laughs> <laughs> let's see if the rumors. <laughs> if the rumors are true. So he does send a trap, which, as we saw before, can reduce the attack yeah. of opposing monsters. Which, yeah, but you can have recycle a lot of. also some uh, cards back. So yeah, where where does he go? So he can add two cards back, and he can summon. Yeah. And add the quick spell. He gets to add. Oh yeah. Yeah okay. He gets to add the spell as well. And then, what does he do next? Do you know? Do I know? Do you know? You I said you're yes. ready. I am ready. Does he link as again? As you can obviously. <laughs> See, no, I mean, he, maybe he gonna, links again. Yeah, yeah got yeah, it. Another link, link too. Yeah, and then he because gets he the doesn't other have uh, he doesn't have two cards to summon back yeah. or to special. But and then he's he gonna contribute make the to add two back. Yeah, and then he'll have the he draws spell a card. with like four million prank kids for next. Oh, turn. and he gets another terraforming, which is not something you want to see. He basically opened three fuel spells, which he are he, once per I turn. guess banished one for the. Yeah, which but he draws into terraforming, which is yeah. basically <laughs> not a draw, but thins the deck. Yeah, he thins the deck. Now he gets the puts a spell in grave for his engage, right? Yeah. He will get some life points back now with the water one, I believe. And it will go back to 8,000. I think that's the one that gives 1,000 back. <laughs> Federico, just make it sure. Yeah, you don't want to <laughs> mess it up, of course. But Just double check what every card does. If I remember correctly, dog, uh, Bow Wow can only be tributed during your opponent turn. So 
Sure. I think so. So now it's the fusion, and yeah, it does use it. Is the rocket, you can only use the effect of the rocket once per turn? But it didn't use it yet. He only yeah. used it as a material, so yeah. Yeah. So he'll be able to summon two, two exactly. Link monsters back. Yeah, if he wants. That seems good. Indeed. Also, because he still got a summon from the deck. So as I said, the rumors were probably true. One instant yeah, fusion I'm, I'm is all you need. Yeah, I'm believing the rumors now. Yeah, one instant fusion is all you need. It seems like a quite an explosive opening. And uh, yeah. Who knew? I didn't. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, a lot of decks can combo with like an instant fusion and a, yeah, a thing. But Prankids seem to be doing it very resiliently. As in, they don't really necessarily care about interruptions like... Yeah. Um, like the Colossus. Now he gets back yeah. two, and he will be able to set up the usual combo where you just end up with the quick uh, fusion. So to have the Raigeki, and then you can also tribute the Link. So this is crazy. Yeah. But I mean, the Raigeki is obviously not too worrying for Thunder Dragons, but this is the recursion. Yeah. That he's going to keep getting. I think it could have gone even worse. Like the. The fact that he opened a triple fuel spell essentially, like after drawing one, and the double list infusion was definitely hurting for Dinko. But he did have the cold body grave from the Ash, which was essential. Otherwise, he would have just bricked there. Well, yeah, he would have had. Well. But I think that the fact that he has those uh, that cards now in hand is going to matter because this opening seems fair, but not that impressive against Thunder Dragon. Fair, to be but honest. not unfair. <laughs> exactly. And sometimes in Yu-Gi-Oh, you do need unfair things. A bit of unfair. Um, Dark is picked up, not the best, honestly. And luckily, he does play two copies of the Gem Knight Ember. Otherwise, that would be a very sad hand. Yeah. He does play two copies, right, if I remember uh, correctly? I mean, you, you seem very confident, but I agree, because yeah. it says two on his deck list. Okay, and Ember. he should be. So, yeah, I guess we'll see when the prank sort of start to explode. Yeah. Um, yeah, like this setup I meant is not that great in terms of interruptions. He's pretty decent. Um, but, but how much interruption does he need to do? That's the thing. But then on the next turn, you can get a lot of monsters back. So I mean, yeah, because during his opponents, if, if you know he's not put under too much pressure, then yeah. he'll be able to use the fusion during the end phase to get exactly. the prank kids weather washer to summon back two of the link monsters from the graveyard. And then it gets crazy because as we saw in the last match you can go into bottle load, which is a big deal for the Thunder Dragon deck or even Bottle's World if he wants to try an OTK. So let's see how Mikotsi decides to go. It's Titan time. Maybe forcing out the fusion now is actually relevant. Force him to commit to the butler mm -hmm. rather than the weather washer. As I said, it doesn't seem like the Regeki would do much to the Thunder Dragon deck, yeah. honestly. But if you make him make that rather than being able to make the weather washer, or maybe he makes the weather washer, but he has to do it yeah. now rather than later, and you can force it out and attack exactly. over the Link monsters. It seems like you'd just rather summon a bunch of monsters against the Thunder Dragon deck. So maybe it's not even bad after deciding to go second, but that's another story. We'll consider that later. We'll consider it when Dinka tells us what he's <laughs> going to do. <laughs> yeah. I'll bow to his judgment. <laughs> yeah, I meant actually against the Thunder. Oh, Dragon. yeah. Makazi. That's a bold decision. Yeah, but I mean, if you have enough hand traps and like evenly matched, evenly matched seems to be really good against the deck. Yeah, but he's not got Gamma, so what is the point? <sighs> I have to teach him a lot more then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where this is going. Yeah, that's just the regular stuff, but I mean, the protection effect of the Thunder Dragon seems to be super relevant against the deck. So I'm wondering, as I said, the, the scarier part of the deck against the, a non-combo is the Swarm. So you can summon a lot of prank hits, and that's the annoying part, but outside of that, if you think about it, like last uh, game, the Regeki was basically useless. Uh, I yeah, think I sure. used it only at the end on a Phoenix and a Saruya, which would have not been able to clear his board anyway. Well, I mean, they couldn't be destroyed by battle, so how else? We <laughs> but, yeah, exactly. That's not. But yeah, the bottle and then everything else. So, uh, in general, that's not great. But let's see. Yeah, let's see. I don't know where he's going. It would have been nice to have maybe banished the dark, and then you can add Thunder Dragon, and then you can get two pops. Yeah. So you might want to start popping, but he can't do that now. See where he goes. So summoner and now you gotta start considering when 
And even if you use it. I don't think you even go for the Regaki, as I said. I think you just keep the... Uh, yeah, you just keep it. Yeah, you just keep the monsters, because then the Regaki is just gone. Two, and and then... you waste a lot of uh, resources for it, you know? Yeah. Makes more sense just to make the Weather Washer, which you can Indeed. use in the end phase and special summon two Link 2's back. Yeah. So you can easily get, like, five monsters on board. But, I mean... This is depending on what McCutley... If McCutley puts him under enough pressure, then he might be forced to use the fusion yeah, defensively. True. The Reborn might help in that. Because if he can just threaten 8,000 damage, then he just has to use uh, yeah. the fusion for the, for the, th the battle butler. Yeah. But Which even then, like, he's not going to be able to destroy anything on McCutley's board if it is at that point. So you just summon it as a big beater and supposedly that there is a Titan or a Mag uh, Matrix in hand, he might be able to just attack over it. Yes. He's using Matrix to add now, though. Yeah. A lot of options for Makozi to consider. It's really hard to pick out I mean, as long as he doesn't use Monster Reborn on his opponent's monster, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> In chain. Okay. He's going to set the Amber. Learned from London. In London, he, uh, he summoned the Amber. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. What's the plan then? Titan. Triple Colossus Titan, double yeah. Colossus Titan. Titan seems to be good, but he may be... I mean, it depends if uh, he knows, because like, Triple Colossus is easier, but then he doesn't deal with the fusion. No, it does not, but he prefers... Which is not that relevant, though. Well, no, he can still make a, a Titan in the extra monster zone, I guess. What do you think of Monster Reborn in the Thunder Dragon deck? Do you like it? Um... I have different opinions about it, honestly. It depends on the count. Since we know Megots is playing above 40, it doesn't seem to be that needed. Because, like, if you go above 40, I think it's for some reasons. Um, but it's it's such a, it's a decent card. It would be better if uh, Ghost Bell was more popular, because then you can still continue, I guess. Well, Ghost Bell also negates, yeah, it the, negates activation the activation. Yeah, negates the activation, I know, I know. The but hand. it still loses. I mean, if you have other... Uh, yeah. Extenders, that's in a way. But like worst case scenario, you could be able to steal like a ray from your opponent and just push some damage. Yeah, it has some applications, but it's not particularly good. So presumably, the fusion was being activated because Makazi went yeah. to attack. Let's show the washer. The weather washer. Want. Yeah. There you go. So I, I, I guess it's just like the. The, do the the rocket, but you can use it in your opponent's turn, yeah. right? Which is fine. Exactly. <laughs> Seems pretty handy. It is. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, they cannot be destroyed by battle. That's something we've learned. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's definitely relevant. It's we didn't definitely know that. relevant. Then it's even better to just swing. Oh, my God, that changes a lot. I thought they were really good, but now they're even better. <laughs> what does Mikasi do about this? Can he do anything? I don't think so. It's going to be in a similar situation as Andres, honestly. Just like, he's got his monsters, which can't be destroyed, but equally, his opponent just does they not can care. can be steel, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, if he's gaining advantage, like, this board now it's made doesn't do anything. It just sits there. Yeah. So, if Dinka doesn't care about it, even if he can't destroy it, like, fast, he can just destroy it slow and yeah. keep... This is crazy. Yeah, this deck, uh, as you said, maybe it has some problems against combo decks, but against uh, some slower decks like Thunder Dragon, which is not that slow, but you know what I mean. And, and uh, Sky, Sky Strikers, Striker, yeah. it seems to and be Ultra really Ghost, good at grinding, yeah. I mean, I just don't see how you get through something like that. Just something that gets back two monsters, which can't be yeah. destroyed by battle, and then can't be destroyed by, you know, and then like if you try and destroy them by a card effect, they'll just chain their effect and add two more yeah. cards to your opponent's hand. like. Yeah. It's not offering that many interruptions, but it's... it's but it's really hard to deal with, yeah. So I guess he just attacks the weather. Oh, oh yeah, the link, I guess. Make him activate it, I guess. <laughs> oh, no. 
Let me just add two more cards back to my hand. <laughs> Something cool to say that we haven't mentioned yet is that uh, Dinka is actually meaning invocation, which is the spell for the invoke deck, just because you can use it as a regular polymerization, which is a cool application we haven't seen before, honestly. And if your opponent, you know, has a has an Alistair in there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. You never know. Yeah. You could steal it. I don't know. Yeah, if they had an Alistair in grave, you could... Uh, Banish it, but then you don't have the fusion to summon it, so it's <laughs> maybe he should take one in his uh, side extra deck. You know. Yep. <laughs> summon a Mechaba <laughs> or a Raging. I guess they have all the different attributes. Yeah. It's a shame because he's not got. Um, yeah, like rivalry, rivalry. and uh, yeah, he or goes and match whatever. But I mean, I don't think Thunder Dragon can really use goes and match. Yeah, I know, I know, but. A rivalry. They could now. <laughs> they could. <laughs> They're all dark. Yeah. Who needs the light one? <laughs> I mean, obviously, if he was expecting the uh, pranked matchup. Yeah. He ob would have put the goat. Didn't prepare well enough. <laughs> obviously. What was he doing? I mean, sure. <laughs> you just want to get one more interruption, I guess. Make um, the titan, but. I guess, yeah, because the weather wash is going to be used in the end phase, and then you can pop the link. Oh, and you can, can get the link back monsters to the link. be used again? Oh my god, this is. I just want—I don't know if you can use them again. No, I think the they're once turn. per turn, but the thing is, because you can't use it in the end phase, yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh my. This is absurd because now you can use the bird again, the doo doo, to get back uh, the dodo, to get back the shoe <laughs> doo 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 doo. The doo doo dodo. The doo doo dodo. <laughs> And he can use instant fusion to straight up oh bring my. two links back from his grave. <laughs> like it's <laughs> absurd. The double instant. Well, well, you know, you said the instant fusion was bad, but the second one is going to be nuts. No, it's not bad. I mean, it's better than the first turn, but of course, it's a huge card to draw. Yeah, obviously, what you're supposed to do is draw the second one on your second turn. Right? Yeah, and the OG polymerization is. Ah, uh, look at the fused. art. Yeah. Craziness. No, he doesn't even need the instant fusion. He'd rather just. <laughs> Go the old way. I don't think. I mean, I'm impressed, but I, Federico just doesn't look very impressed here. He looks thoroughly annoyed by the prank kids, which I, can, I suppose is what they're so. supposed to do. He's probably <laughs> bringing in flashbacks of this whist round, and I would imagine that to be quite frustrating, honestly. And uh, what can you do? You seem to be accumulating, yeah, infinite resources. Like he's got Borrel to take. Something. Borrel will more or less prevent him from taking damage. Is that, inv that is the invocation. Here we go. Okay, there we see it. He could have pulled a trick similar to uh, what Zappini pulled. <laughs> if, if you break, you set the uh, set the invocation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hope is destroyed. Invoked, uh, yeah, actually disappeared completely from the meta game. I mean, it was. Kind of popular. It kind of, yeah. But no one is playing it since months, kind of. It was messing about. Yeah. Okay, that 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 I can see. Makazi popping the rocket before it summons two more monsters. Little does he know. Yeah. The no, is that his third one though? I think he's used. Uh, no, I don't think so. It's yeah, because he summoned. Possible, he summoned though. two last turn. Did he? Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. one was from Instant Fusion, and then the second one just the regular one. Yeah. But he can just add it back to his extra deck, right? With yeah. The. I don't the, know if he has it though, yeah. The Bow Wow Buck. Yeah. <laughs> Which he has not used this turn, I don't think. And it seems like he is actually counting that. Can the trap also do it? But I think only on your opponent's turn, right? The trap? Yeah. Which trap? Oh, oh, I see. Now I think it's like when your opponent's monster declares an yeah, attack. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. But it also recycles stuff, so. And there's a spell as well, which he does not have at the moment, so. He might the be able uh, He can't add it, right, surely. Yeah. There are two Colossus. You doubly uh, can't add. When you have two Colossus, the second one stops you adding from the grave to the hand. Yeah. That's what it says. If you control one, you know, you can't add from the deck. If you control <laughs> two, can't add from the grave either. Yeah, I know. And the third one? <laughs> can't draw. <laughs> can't draw. Okay. <laughs> Your hand is stuck. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, you can add from the f field somehow. <laughs> okay, so... It seems like they don't even have bad arrows, to be honest. 
is similar to underclock taker, so it's quite a versatile one. Yes. So I'm feeling like the barrel load might be coming down at some point. Yeah, it's looking quite similar to the match against Andres, so... Ah, but all of Federico's monsters have just lost attack points, so he's in a lot of yeah, trouble now. <laughs> How's he going to get around the barrel load? <laughs> Seems not that irrelevant, like, in yeah. a situation where, like, there's almost no outs to the barrel load, and then you make it so there's completely no outs to the barrel load. It's almost like you want to cherry the barrel <laughs> load in this matchup, because, like, if you do, honestly, how do they get rid of your stuff? It's not that easy, like... Jokes aside. <laughs> Jokes aside, like... It could be an actual Both decks don't seem to be able to get around the yeah. other deck's cards very efficiently. Yeah. But in the meantime... Do Makotsi play... Uh, does he play Barrel Load on his own? Does Makotsi play Barrel Load? It's not that quite could be couple. pretty big. Yeah. I mean, I don't see why you would, if I'm totally honest. I agree, but... He, but he does. He does? Yes. Barrel Load. Barrel Load. I mean, why would you play Barrel Sword? You can attack your monster big enough anyway. But yeah, that is Barrel Load in his extra deck. That could be relevant, though, because he has Monster Reborn. So if he's able to actually summon his own... But actually, never mind, because the, the Regak is butler. there. <laughs> yeah, the battle battle is there to meet him, and it's not going to be a pleasant feeling, so... <laughs> the battle butler beats the Barrel Load. Yeah, he does. Pretty badly. <sighs> This is not looking good, and... It's not going to get any better, is Dinka it? Dinka is also gaining <laughs> life points in the meantime, even though he paid, like, the Eastern Fusion is up to 10,000, and 20 minutes are almost gone on the clock, so we got to keep in mind that as well. Since he has all these uh, life points, uh, like, cards that gain life points or deal life points damage, if we ever get to see a game free, he could be in a huge position. What's the counter on Borrow Load for? Oh, it gained 500. Yeah, it gains, oh my yeah. god. Okay, I think maybe he just can't kill it now. Yeah. Because he's got the mate. Like the only way you can really kill the borrow load is your own borrow. I suppose his own borrow load can take it down. He's just counting the damage right now. And attacking over it can take it down, but he just can't attack over it now. It's 35. Yeah. But he has his own borrow load, which we said yeah. is not that great. So if he somehow forces down. Forces out the yeah. fusion yeah. spell, followed by the fusion, followed by making Reborn. a borrow load. Yeah. I mean, Reborn is the only card that actually could do it, but we should not count uh, Federico out, because we saw against Simony that a single pot of Desires was able to actually come back. <laughs> so if he, for example... He has to have other cards to draw with the pot of Desires. Yeah. But yeah, what were you going to I mean, suggest? Dan Koseka, for example, is able to shut down the fusion That's spell. a good point. Impermanence can shut down the borrow load. Yeah. But impermanence, I don't think it's going to be useful because the brilliant fusion is stuck there, so... Yeah, it's too slow. Yeah. By but far. if he gets, like, the Desires and then the Danko and, the, like, he has the Reborn, so it shouldn't be too complicated to make his own barrel load. Then he has some hope, but... I think Dinka's passed. Danko is? Uh, Dinka has passed. Ah, thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he shouldn't but be able to do too much. not set the fusion spell. Okay. Then we can play. Oh, never mind. No, no, this is in Federico's okay. turn. Because that's, uh, that's the effect that Fusion Monster can only use. Maybe he just used it on his own turn and he doesn't have any more, but it would seem very weird because... No, no, that, the Fusion Monster can only be used on your opponent's turn. No, 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 I know. What I mean is that... Why wouldn't you set it, though? Uh, like, he doesn't have he... it in his hand. I'm pretty sure he added it. Because, like, if he used it, why won't you, you use, like, Invocation instead? If you needed a Fusion spell. He used Polymerization. Yeah, no, I, what I mean is... I'm sure 100% that he had another quick spell. It looked so. like he added it to his hand, but he's not set it, and it is Federico's And it, it's saying that he doesn't have it right now, but what I'm saying is, if he ever used it, then... But Federico's whatever. conceding Federico anyway. scoops it up, and... Well, all right, then. We go to game two, and Dinka is proving once again the power of this deck. Uh, the crowd is cheering for him. I'm wondering what would have happened like, if you reborn a Link Chu and then make Borrow Load, but I guess if you can just go for the Raigeki the next turn, it doesn't matter anyway. But yeah, I mean, if you've got to link away all your Thunder Dragons... Yeah, it's not going to be a good feeling. <laughs> this is mad. Yeah. Like, are we actually going to see Prankids win? <laughs> win YCS Milan. I mean, it, honestly... It's looking well. It's looking like it. This it's point. looking like it's an incredible matchup, so... 
as sad as it sounds for me, because you know I'm really close friend to Federico, I gotta say the props to Dinka, because the deck is insane and he seems to be doing well, knowing it inside and out, and probably <laughs> playing against a bunch of favorable mirror matches, uh, matchups in a yeah, row. A lot of mirror matches. <laughs> yeah, a lot of mirror matches. You gotta prepare for the mirror match, yeah. You gotta I mean, prepare. Is there anything in his ever? To be fair, it's not even a joke in the future events. You might actually play yeah. some prank in mirror matches. What would you side? Non fusion air? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry. Cher doesn't even do much. You have so many fusions. That Surely, if he cherries the rocket, they can't do much. It depends. <laughs> Ollie just testing who the crowd favorite was. <laughs> and it sounds like the Italians have betrayed yeah. Federico. <laughs> Uh, Maybe you'll be converted. Maybe by the end of this nah. you'll be dressed up as a prank kid. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm still standing by Federico's yeah. side, no matter what happens. So <laughs> let's just keep uh, following this and hopefully we'll be able to at least uh, bring it to game three and give us some more uh, give some more action. Give us some more action, yeah. Let's see Federico with some Pot of Desires action, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, he won the top four as well, like that, from what I heard, so that's <laughs> insane. Ah, uh, what a guy. So looking at the side decks real quick, uh, if Federico chooses to go first, he will just play some more Antrops. It seems like Ghost Bell is really good against the uh, Prank Eats deck, since there are all these effects regarding the graveyard, like add back and special summoning. Yep, and he is siding precisely copies. no copies of Ghost Bell. He, I'm, I'm pretty sure he has two copies. Uh, that's his Ghost Ogre. Oh. Imperial Order, I feel, is good. It is. Uh, there are 20 Imperial spells. Order seems to be uh, probably one of the best cards you can ever see against it. Super Poly, somehow, uh, might work. Uh, I mean, the Predator Plant says, uh, but I don't think there are any Dark Monsters on the your own monster and one of their fusions. I mean, it doesn't sound that bad, but let's see. Oh, my. Let's see. Who seems like going Federico first? is going first. And that's fine. It's, yeah. it's a Thunder Dragon Hand. It's a Thunder Dragon Hand. That's what I would call it. <laughs> and he does have the impermanence this time to possibly stop the bottle load. That is basically just uh, doing madness against all these Thunder Dragon players. Will, it, yeah, will, the, will the impermanence live there for long enough for it to hit a bottle load? I am not sure. It depends on what Dinka is going to try and do. He does have the Cold by the Grave, but at the moment he's not super relevant. It's still decent, even though there are no entrops in Federico's hand. He's got the fusion and he's got multiple prank kids, so I feel like he's probably happy. Yep. I mean, you can tell by his deck building that he wanted to draw these cards because he is running three of every prank kids as well as three of the prank kids. Yeah. Uh, along with, you know, eight fusion spells, well, depending whether you count instant fusion, yeah. 11 <laughs> ways to get a fusion monster out, so. It's quite a consistent deck, obviously. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, it looks like it's going to be doing the same thing. Over and over again, yeah. Which is kind of what I want from a Yu-Gi-Oh deck. I agree. I mean, you want it to be able to do lots of, have lots of different options. But I guess if the options, if it does the same thing over and over and that thing is enough to win, yeah. which it seems to be, especially against Thunder Dragon. Yeah, you shouldn't try and yeah do... Nothing uh, fancy, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You should just keep it simple and consistent, especially at such huge events. Federico are going to end with no uh, no mean board. Yeah. Double Colossus Titan. He still likes summoning them in attack mode. Yeah. Maybe he just likes it. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the matchup, I'd say, but yeah. What matchup would you rather in defense? Uh, anything that's really comboing off, because then it can probably punish you somehow. Or either stealing them, I guess, but... They're stealing them, it doesn't matter. Yeah, switch. it depends with what they are stealing them. Ooh, if it that's is... a good draw. Yeah, that's definitely a good draw, but is it as good as the desires of uh, Mego in the previous turns? I don't know, I mean, what more cards does Dinker Boy want than a load of prank kids and a fusion spell. Uh, evenly matched? <laughs> I wouldn't hate that. <laughs> if he's siding it, which yeah. he is. Mm, Mekotsi life points are obviously not 1,000, but no. we're gonna... They are 8,000 minus 1,000. Yeah. 
He gets an impairment, I think. Yeah. And another fusion. He's got a hand full of prank kits, so I'm curious to see what he will be able to do. Um, Federico only has one interruption and it's go, not gonna be know, easy. Straight into the battle baller, that's all. <laughs> Clearly yeah. the plan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, impermanence here feels really weak if you use it because he can just summon and link it away. I don't... Impermanence? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe the... Um, the Titan? I mean, uh, as I said, it's not that easy to clear this board, f even for prank kids. From what we saw, at least, the main uh, way to do it was borrow They just mess about until they draw a borrow load. Yeah, so unless they summon, I don't know, a Phoenix, is he playing Nightmares in his extra deck? Uh, surely everyone's there. Yeah, he's playing I would say Phoenix. so. Yeah. So unless he goes for Phoenix before, which then is going to force it, I don't see the point of using it. Uh, if it has such an yeah, explosive no. end, because then if you keep it for the border load, how do they out your board? At the same time, though, you want to use impermanence during your turn, because if you use it during theirs, then how do you deal with it? Uh, Cold by the Grave is going to change, so Titan is not relevant and it's going to hurt a lot. But... Nice. If we banish the Matrix, wouldn't gain 500 attack. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> And then that's, that's basically all of... Well, maybe he wants to steal it, <laughs> so then he wants it to gain in the 500 attack. Federico's interruptions, and I think I'd rather my opponent didn't have access to Dragon Dark next turn. <laughs> yeah. He's still got the fusion for next turn. He's still able to do a lot. He can go into his uh, favorite bottle load if he wants, but let's see what he wants to do first. It feels a little early. Yeah, definitely. I feel like he needs to do a bit more messing around, you know, gaining a few resources. We've got to summon a prank, you know, it basically seems to convert cards in the extra deck to cards in the hand. Yeah. <laughs> By some mysterious process using the grave. <laughs> and the deck, I guess. But yeah, it's looking like if he actually manages to go for a phoenix just to be safe, then I don't see how he doesn't do the same thing he did as uh, game one. Yeah, I mean, Makati's only answer to a borrow load is his own borrow load. Yeah. Then if you just go, like, you don't have to do much, because we saw that Triple Thunder Dragon just loses to borrow load, essentially. So if you go for a Phoenix just to be safe, does he even play Unicorn or just the Phoenix? Uh, just the Phoenix. Yeah, I mean, that's all you need, honestly, in this spot. But I mean, he might just wait a turn. I don't know what he's scared of. Would you? I don't know. I mean, Makati has no cards in his hand, honestly. Yeah, exactly. So, so and you even wait. get the draw back. He can wait a turn, right? He can, but why? Like, if you get well, the... So you end up with more cards in case something goes... I mean, I guess nothing can go wrong. Uh, I don't really see what can go wrong, honestly. Like, if you go for a Phoenix, for example, even here, so you get it, uh, the draw, because it's called Inked. Yes. Then it seems like it's really good to go for a bottle load. No, I agree. That seems very reasonable as well. He's attacking? Uh, okay. Has it got more attack? It shouldn't. Because I don't see a fuel spell, but maybe there is something we don't know. Does it do something when it attacks? Let's bring it up. Maybe it's one of the cards in his graveyard? Uh, yeah, he doesn't do anything relevant about attacking. I, it seems to have more attack, because Federico just banished something. Yeah, then it's probably related to the Wow. Well, well. Oh, I think it says Prank Kids Monster at points to gain Yeah, attack. exactly. So that's why. But was that better, though? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I think it was quite a safe line to just go for a Phoenix and clear the back room and then borrow a load. I don't see what could have gone wrong, honestly. Like, I can see the point of just making a lot of resources, but why? I don't know. You'll have to ask Dinka. Yeah. Because, like, we clearly know that the Raigaki is not good, so... Ah, but actually, he doesn't have... Yeah. He doesn't have that many Thunder Dragons to remove, so maybe he does want to go for You that. don't really want to be left with, like, you're effectively top decking if you use all of your resources into a bar load. But it, wasn't, it wouldn't be top decking, though. Yeah, but if you use too many resources into a bar load... I know, load, but essentially, he would have... 
he had six link materials on the board. So you only need four for Bottom's Word, so you would be left with two prank kits, potentially. Uh, if, I feel like you would have had to use maybe two link twos. I don't know, maybe not. No, not necessarily. It could have uh, ended with Bow Wow and Bottle Load, you know? And Bow Wow already adds two, and he would have three cards in hand, so I think that would have been really good. Yeah. But he didn't. And let's see. I feel like this is still kind of just fine. Yeah, it's still really good, but I, I just don't see the point of giving your opponent like more time and in general like options. Yeah, no, I, I can get behind that. Because the cool thing about that would have been the... Uh, you can't even add from fusion because you control whatever, depending on what you steal, so... Oh, that's true. It almost ends the game right there, yeah. Because yeah. now... The Titan's kind of worrying. It can start popping stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's still looking quite difficult, but... It uh, would have been a completely different story. So the Weather Washer prevents them from being destroyed by battle? Yeah. But they can still be destroyed by a card effect. Yep. So he's probably... Maybe he's thinking about interrupting the, the chain. on the Titan now. I mean, yeah, that works, I guess. Because otherwise, if he uses it... Like, if he uses the impermanence or something else, it'll just be forced out. Yeah. He does, and he said it in the same column, of course, as Federico in own impermanence. I mean, Federico could chain him, but he still can't chain his Titan anyway. Yeah. But if he's gonna have to use more pops during the turn, then you can chain it so at least you negate your, your opponent's impermanence. Yeah. yeah. Uh, doesn't seem to be ideal, but you can force a lot, so why not? Well, I don't know, this is only out to borrow load. I know. <laughs> it's about to go. Yeah. But you force a bunch of things. There is a chance that he might be able to get ahead on life points this turn. Um, and given how slow these decks seem to be yeah. at clearing up each other's boards, that could be very relevant. Yeah. You mean to win uh, on time? Oh yeah, or? there's seven minutes left. Yeah. Neither of these games have been particularly fast. They've been fairly I agree. grindy. I agree, but at the same time, we know that Dinka has a lot of uh, uh, li uh, life, life point points, effects, yeah, yeah, gaining or dealing options. So it's not going to be that easy. And uh, he does play Borders Word in his extra deck as well. So that's some easy damage for next turn. But at least, you know, some way of winning this game. <laughs> yeah. Mikotsi does have this gold sarcophagus, so that's another option. But he For cannot use Thunder Dragon. Um, Dra Dark, yeah. yeah. He's got to remember that as well, because it yeah. happened a while ago. And a lot's it's possible that he lost track of it. A lot's gone on. But yeah, now the fusion is going to happen. He's going to have a Regeki available. and <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's actually running reasonably low on Thunders. He's got... I mean, he did the last three? turn, but now he has... Yeah, he has free, but uh, like the Titan can oh, just banish any banish card, yeah. Random cards, yeah. And I guess the Gold Sarcophagus, presumably you just banish a, a raw. Yeah. Unless you banish something else for two two turns later. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, banish some spice, Shiro Nui, but then that's the case, yeah. That would be quite fun. Okay, so it seems like... I mean, maybe Brawl can, can just banish Dark, and then you'll get it to your hands, so you'll have it for next turn. Mm. So, currently he's got two monsters bigger than the Battle Butler. And uh, as we were saying, the life point difference seems to matter a lot, even though we basically didn't see any attack. It's almost a 5,000 life points difference. Yep. I don't see how he gets over this, to be honest, because... There are four monsters there for Dinka. I mean, even though Dinka doesn't look like he's got any more interruptions. Yeah. Because he can't really link uh, someone due to the battle butler. Because <laughs> both uh, Bottle Lord and Borrowers were weak to it. 
against it. So. Yeah, he's not running anything weird like Cerberus or anything, is he? He can destroy it though, right? With the Titan, possibly. I know there is another fact that like, lets you special summon from Grave. Yeah, it is. What? Um, so if you discarded the... Yeah. What's his other effect? That when it is uh, sent to the graveyard by a card effect, or not even an effect, just a card, you can special summon back Cannon Fusion. Ah. Oh. That seems really mean. <laughs> oh, and he can reduce the attack. Yeah, that seems... Maybe because he forgot that. I definitely forgot that. Yep. And that's more damage. Oh, uh, well. And that's all of the cards thing. going back into the deck. Yeah, it's going to reduce the, da the attack, and then it's going to be basically impossible for Mikotsi to deal some damage, unfortunately. And he's going to shuffle back the cards as well, get some uh, recycling. This is mad. Yeah. He's actually going to do it. Yeah, I <laughs> can't say for sure, but it looks <laughs> like uh, Dinka is in a great spot at the moment. Time is running out. We only have three minutes left. and it's Over 5,000 life points ahead. Yeah. He's got this sort of board of monsters, which really doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Like, mul we're going to add more cards next turn. Multiple cards in so, his yeah. hand. Megotzi is forced to banish his entire graveyard to protect uh, everything he has. And then... I think Dinka forgot that Titan can banish also other cards, but... Yeah. Yeah, he's reminding them that the impermanence was negated by Mikotsi impermanence. So, he forgot about that, but it doesn't seem to be that relevant, and they should probably speed up at this point, even though it doesn't... It doesn't seem like Mikotsi can deal enough damage anyway. Or just for the rest of the game, really. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's just got everything, like... Uh, it doesn't seem like the Thunder Dragon deck is capable of dealing with this yep. at all. Uh, it just seems like a bad matchup. You have why, some. You why have is the what? cards not being banished? I think they're talking about the impairments, but... No, what? Wasn't the impairments negated the other impairments? I'm pretty sure it did. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. Wait. Um, Should we somehow tell them? I mean, they figured it out, but... So, yeah, I think because you chained in permanence to yeah. the other. Wasn't it negated? But. Uh, maybe Ollie can uh, step in for us. Yeah, maybe Oliver can step in for us. Because we thought the impermanence negated the Dinka impermanence as well. But then Titan shouldn't have been destroyed, right? Well, it stops Titan from using its effect to save itself. I don't know. I mean, Mikotsi presumably knew the impermanence, because that was why yeah, he did it. Yeah, it seems like he did it in chain, so that it wouldn't have been negated. Uh, but yeah, Titan doesn't have to banish Thunder Monsters. No, 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 he doesn't. Yeah. Uh, not sh quite sure what's, what's happening with that. I mean, it doesn't really matter, because as we can see, there is not much time left, but I'm pretty sure he could have been able to protect the Titan, because the other impermanence was negated by it. Yeah, I totally agree. But I think it may be kind of yeah, it's academic. I mean, there's no way... It is academic, but well, uh, at the same time, damage. it is also true, so... <laughs> academic and true. <laughs> Very important. So, Bottle of Salmon, <laughs> once again. They enjoy the Bottle of you can hear the crowd probably going crazy. You can't blame them. This deck was definitely the underdog of the event, and it seems like he's, he's going to be like winning. Was an underdog? <laughs> this was unknown. <laughs> yeah, not even an underdog. I mean, an underdog when it got leaked, I guess, when they first watched it on a future match on our stream <laughs> on Saturday over the fall. And we were like, yeah, this deck is kind of yeah, looks all right. Yeah, this deck is cool. <laughs> he's done this, he's done that, but... And then, damn. And then, yeah. Borrow load as well shuts down the Titan from, like, interrupting him. Yeah. Although, McCarthy's got two interruptions for the Titan. I mean, it's, it's only a matter of time. There is less than a minute. What's happened to all of life points? Uh, they probably just added up the damage that was done last turn, I would say. Sure. I mean, he's still on more. Yeah. And he's going to gain more at some point this turn, right? 
I mean, it doesn't really have to, because as you can see, there are only uh, 40 seconds left. And uh, all Dinka has to do is probably enter battle phase, and he doesn't even need to do that, because he's ahead in life <laughs> points. Yeah. What craziness. Yeah, he's just showing off at this point. He can't <laughs> blame him. I mean, uh, he's just proving people how good the deck is. <laughs> We've got the charm from the crowd is the yeah the shove from the crowd we're probably gonna get a out. countdown from the ten <laughs> was he gonna make a borrow sword as well wow <laughs> that was amazing yeah and the handshake and there he goes oh my god dinka boy takes it on with Frank kids is the winner of ycs milan 2018 that was insane. We had a lot of emotions all weekend. It all come down to this. No one could have seen this coming. It's also a story of uh, revenge because King Kabui lost in the finals of YCS Utrecht. Do you even think uh, Dinky Boy would have seen this? Coming? I don't think so. You remember that when we featured him, he said, I didn't prepare that much for this event, but I just thought the deck was looking cool, fun, yeah. it was looking cool. And who would have thought? But well, we uh, can only say that he proved them wrong, he proved everyone wrong, even us, I guess, because we, we couldn't think of this deck as the best option to win the event. I'm sure it will skyrocket in popularity and uh, uh, props to Federico, though, he lost another final in the same year. He's only 18 compared to other players, so you gotta feel that he has a bright future ahead of him and hopefully he will be able to recover this and not be too hard on himself. So. Nothing else to say. I'm really Nothing excited. That was it for us. It was great to be a part of uh, you. I hope you enjoyed the stream for all the weekend. I want to thank just everyone who worked with us uh, and my colleague Tom Payne. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Marcello, as and well. And let's just jump to Oliver if he's ready so that we can have the last words with the winner. He's going to grab. <laughs> the winner has just left the stage. He needs to take a quick dive in the crowd basically we got a lot a lot of friends of him who are now coming up to him who are saying he did it this time around he came so close in Utrecht and it's not just friends that are now with our winner they are also with our finalists who are telling him man you came so close tears are being shed I'm not I'm not exaggerating so um, emotions are running high right now and he's, he's with his team he's with his friends and they are telling him hey man you did absolutely amazing there's nothing to be ashamed of so uh, well done to you and uh, two great finishes in one year we, we heard Marcello say it a couple of times he was runner up in the Italian nationals now runner up in the finals of the largest ever Yu-Gi-Oh tournament in Italy that's nothing to be ashamed of so we got the trophy here we got the brand new prize card and we got the winner Din Kaboy congratulations you did it how does it feel amazing <laughs> I have, I, have, I have no words for that. That's, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, it's super interesting to see you from the side. I can see your, your feet is moving on the floor. You're, you're nervous, but you're trying to not give it away. Um, what's your secret? That you're, you appear so calm in the finals. Um, <laughs> it's, hard to, uh, it's hard to say. Is it safe to say that this is the best moment of your Yu-Gi-Oh career? Could be, yes. <laughs> I find it funny that you still have to con contemplate it. And like, I'm not 100% sure. So, well, you are the winner. That means this is now yours. Congratulations again. And you also get this prize card. We got the Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon. So, your friends have been cheering for you. Uh, we talked a couple of times about prank kids. It is the deck of the weekend, obviously. So, um, what we're going to do is this. We're going to do a quick deck feature with Prank Kids, not right away. We're going to do this on Facebook Live. So if you're watching this on Twitch, head over to Facebook after the, event of, after the end of the stream. The same goes for YouTube. If you're on Facebook, you're doing everything right. Just stay where you are. We're going to be back very soon with that. Other than that, it was an amazing weekend. We had more than 1,770 players. This is the 71st player who won the event, the largest ever in Italy. We got Din Kabui taking it with prank hits of all decks. It was an amazing weekend. Thank you again for giving us so much entertainment. I hope you guys had a very good time. We're going to be back for the YCS in Düsseldorf in February next year, of course. You can expect all of what we had today and even more. 
And like I said, we're going to be right back in just a few minutes on Facebook Live with a deck feature of the winner of YCS Milan 2018. Thank you very much and see you very soon.